Now, this is the 20 something job I've done on Car Road. I've lost count now. Um, there are, it's got the beautiful herringbone flooring all the way through. That's the back garden we're looking at there. And this is a full house renovation, kitchen extension, new bathrooms, everything new, everything. So, um, new heating system, new all new wiring and everything. So as you walk in through the front door, obviously upstairs in the original staircase. Um, so we have the living room is original what it was. Now everything's uh, modernized and freshly plastered and, and painted and everything finished lovely. Um, then we have, um, just turn off the camera. Uh, <clears throat> uh, now all the, from here back, everything's completely different to what it used to be. So under the stairs, what we did is we did this uh, laundry room. I put double doors on it. Um, with staggered hinges so as the door is open all the way back around so you can still walk past it if somebody's using the laundry room. So everything working here. A uh, whole new heating system. And that's a combi boiler so it heats the water instantly as you need it. Rather than a cylinder of hot water taking up space and using energy elsewhere. We have then back into the hall and making use of what used to be part of the kitchen. Uh, we did a downstairs bathroom. Rather than having the understairs toilet that was relatively useless, this gives them an extra shower. So, real cool shower with the dual head and nice compact toilet. We could, because we were prioritising having a bath and a big vanity unit in here, which is cool. A uh, real nice feature, feature tall radiator here as well, and electric mirror. And then as we walk back out here, we have this little cloakroom. Have this cloakroom for um, coat storage and everything. So stuff that you would use in a cloakroom. And this area here used to be the kitchen of the house. This here is the back wall, the original back wall of the house, and then into the extension. So this is 39 square meters of an extension, which is a generous sized kitchen a dining area and a living room. And there's a little pantry off the back here, I'll show you now in a second. This is, uh, again, a window I made myself um, so as it could be exactly the right shape and size to make the kitchen, which is at the back of a nine meter extension, is still super bright. Everywhere you're standing in here, you've got daylight. This is the darkest corner of the room here and I'm looking at daylight. So um, this real big cool window, this window here is four meters long and 1.4 meters wide. And I fanned out the ceiling on both sides to spread the light as much as possible. Um, these are Munster joinery uh, lift and sliding doors. And the wraparound corner, um, they saw the um, photos of a, an extension they did down the road and they really liked this wraparound corner. Although there's not much to be looking at at the corner. Um, but it's still, it's still a lovely feature. I'll show you outside real quick. Um, this is typical. Open the bleeding door. Now they're in the process of doing the back garden themselves. That's not on me. Now here we did. Uh, the customer specified she wanted this. Uh, this look we did. One down the road here. If you. We did this one down the road. Let's see if it'll focus. She liked that uh, that look of the IKEA extension we did before. Um, so we tried to mimic that here uh, with a concealed gutter. So the gutter is down the side over here, and. Um, And that effect is carried on down the side. Now, I'll show you back inside now. Right, so this little pantry over here, it's just uh, the nature of the houses on Car Road. They share a, an existing boiler house. So, this lovely pantry off the kitchen. A fantastic use of space. And the neighbour's version of that room is just in behind that wall. So I'll nip upstairs and show you what else we did up here. Oh, this is just a little office space. Um, so there's Cat5 cable for internet, literally just enough room for a desk, for a laptop, and a little office chair to push in out of the way. 
uh, just for the odd time where they thought they might need to work from home, which is much more common nowadays. Um, bring upstairs now real quick. We can't use, can't show you that room because the folks are working from home today in there. So now, this worked out deadly. That's cool wardrobes, isn't it? Built in all the way across, but check that out. <laughs> right, so a uh, compact toilet, nice vanity unit, tell storage, big electric mirror, and a 1200 wide by 900 deep shower tray with the dual head built in shelves. Literally just the size it needs to be and hidden away hidden away into the what otherwise is wardrobes. Delighted with how that turned out. And then it's just do the back room. Again just an alcohol reclaimed from that was just a wasted a wasted corner before they use it for something. So that's it. Um, very happy it turned out. We made great use of space everywhere. This was a job that was uh, punctuated by the COVID lockdown. We were just a couple of weeks from finishing this place um, when the lockdown hit. So these folks have been very um, patient with us getting back and finishing off everything. Uh, that's it. Thank you.